good bad man. Bad man. Them no want me shook bad man. Let me get straight to the point, yeah? So after 47 unwanted Eid hugs, 12 celebrity deaths, and 8 cousin wishes later, I'm back once again. Celebration time. <laughs> So every Friday there will be a new Dyro Badman short episode coming to you and make sure you subscribe because if you haven't, man's gonna bell up his auntie Gulshan from Pakistan, really nice person as well, does a lot of charity work but is also a part time rich doctor. So if you don't subscribe, I will make sure she will cast a semi haram spell on you and your life will be gabi khushi more gum, do you know what I'm saying? So if you don't mind erectile dysfunction, then please, no subscribe, firm it, just keep telling your wife you're tired. So eat more blood. Now, okay, enough. Enough. Okay, enough. It's been eight years. Stop making the same meme, fam. One of my friends is so dumb, she pronounces a meme, meme. What the hell is a meme, fam? Unless she's right and I'm the one pronouncing it. It's memes, right? Oh, shit. I oh, now I'm questioning myself. So today, I'm not doing an Eid video because I've done a few of those. But I hope everyone is having an amazing time. Big up those awkward long distance phone conversations to your family members in Pakistan. Salaam beta is your chacha. I don't know who you are. What do you mean, beta? I'm your dad's cousin's father's mother-in-law's friend. I don't know what you want. I sent you money on V-transfer. Did you get it? I can tell you I don't have money. Oh, maybe he's dead. I... Yeah, maybe he's dead. I don't know. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. So I will see you soon then, eh? Oh, and can you please tell your mom I love her? But don't tell, uh, don't tell your dad. And no reason. Shout out to all the little kids that are disappointed with that five pound no ED. And respect to the people who completely got it wrong and they're probably doing it next week. But today we are going to talk about something that all Asian parents lack in a relationship. That's love. Let's be honest, our parents don't really like each other that much. Like my parents are always annoyed at each other. Like the other day my dad was like, I don't like your mother, she's always giving me headache. Do you know what really annoys me? But mother wants another baby. Babies go bloody cheap, okay? What, like nappies and that? No, beta, we never use nappies with you. Too expensive. We just leave you to shit in the jeans, you know? <laughs> okay, technically that doesn't make any sense because you would spend more money on wet wipes cleaning me and then cleaning the clothes, which also cost money. <laughs> Clean? No, 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 Hamza, we, no, we didn't do that with you. No, we didn't buy no wet wipes or nothing or tissue or too expensive, Hamza. We just let you do it and just relax. You just ignore it, you know, we just ignored it. I don't rate you as parents, I'm not gonna lie. But my point is, I don't really like love, innit? And some love songs really annoy me, fam. Especially when the last time I had a girlfriend was, I don't know, year four, I think. But that was kind of forced because I, I put her in a headlock, innit? So I was bored one day, so I thought, let me find like the shittiest music videos that have ever been made. And bam, we here now. Now this first song is called Angel, and it's by Tahir Shah. I don't really care if I pronounced it wrong because you don't deserve any respect after watching this. Now the beginning kind of reminds me of Armageddon or one of those Dr. Zakir Nak lectures. Not the intro that they have on the VHS tapes. Those ones. And then you see some clouds and shit. And then we end up in a golf course. And can I just say that these angel wings were definitely, without a doubt, made by five-year-olds. But no budget has gone on those wings, fam. Then it starts looking like a Pakistani Ribena advert. And then the song starts. And then you listen to the lyrics, and then you realize something straight away. I am like an angels, mankind's angels. My heart is like a rose, mankind's soul. This guy is on crack, but the guy is having an acid trip right now. How much weed have you gone through, fam? Your love is mine. has subtitles but I still have no idea what the hell he's talking about and bruv he's fashion designer I'm gonna be real he deserves to be stoned to death what is my man wearing he looks like the most happiest witch doctor in Ibiza and this line don't shock me whatsoever I always live alone and I don't know this is just my own personal opinion but in my heart I, I personally don't believe that he said the word angel enough angels, angels. It's about angels. Trust me, no angels are listening to this shit. The only angel that you're provoking is the angel of death. 
And shout out to the laziest songwriter I have ever experienced and heard in my life. I mean, listen to the last two lines. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. It's like he just gave up. Like he was writing a song and his ex called him halfway through and he's just bare gassed and he just, he's just like, oh, la, 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 forget it. Let me see what she wants. You want me back? No? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, fine. Let me just go on the chorus now. And then you see his bae. And no offense, but I think she's had one too many rotis in her lifetime. Like, fitness first still exist. Maybe you should, like, I don't know, check it out. She needs to experience, like, health. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just watching this woman walk to her man. And I'm thinking, how long is this walk? How long has this morty been walking for? Can someone please get this kuti an Uber? And seriously, I want to find out who the cameraman is. Like, look at this shot. Bruv, have you got an eye patch on both eyes? Bruv, she's not even in the shop! And shout out once again to the poetic songwriter with this amazing artistic line. I found you, I was so glad. When I found you, I was so glad. Bruv, that's Shakespeare right there. Like, you can tell that Freshie from Lahore wrote this stuff. Because only people from Lahore chat this much shit when they're in love. Now, obviously, this guy can't sing for shit. And he realises this. So he thought, okay, maybe I'll switch it up, do a little bit of talking, you know what I mean? But bruv, what you're about to hear is truly terrifying. We can all be angels. A human like an angel shines as a star. The angel's characters speak like a flower. The stars are decorated by angels. Brother, you casting a spell? That's some satanic jadu, bruv. Genuinely, how scary was that? I've tried to watch that in the dark without do. Bruv, you'll be cheating it. And I'm not gonna lie, I think this guy has a thing for like flowers and angels. Just a hunch. We can all be angels, like an angel. The angels' characters speak like a flower. By angels, in spittles of a flower. All angels remain quiet. I can imagine his interviews. So please tell me about your new single. Well, it's about angels and flowers. Okay. Okay, cool. Are we finished? Are we finished? Interview finished, huh? Okay. Thank you for your time. Have you seen his backup as well? Bruv, they don't look like they're ramping cars. If you don't think that this music video is weird enough, then I don't know it. This happens. Where is he taking him? Why is the kid wearing lipstick? Why does he look so constipated? Now my man's starting to kiss the kid. I'm like, is this his kid though? Like, is this his kid? I, I need to know. I'm concerned, fam. He just found the kid and he started kissing the kid. Like, I don't I don't know if I, I feel comfortable with that. Why did he dress the kid in a dress? Like, I need to know these things. And then he clarifies that this kid is his son, which I'm like, cool, cool. And I genuinely love this last shot because you could obviously tell this woman ain't his real mum because she doesn't even want to kiss him. Look, like, she's so, like, not unsmudging her makeup right now. She doesn't want to show this kid any affection because she don't know who this kid is. Banda. Now, this next song is a classic. And if you haven't heard of it, then you're obviously living right now. The guy's name is Venu Malesh. I, I, I don't even know that that's a name. Uh, is that a name? Venu Malesh? Is someone taking the piss out? Like, maybe my intel's wrong because that don't sound like a real name, fam. You know what I'm saying? That don't sound like a real name. And get this, the actual title of the song is It's My Life, Whatever I Wanna Do. Now, when the English isn't even correct in the title, then you know you're about to experience a new low, fam. Now, genuinely, if you ask me what kind of genre this music video is, I would have to say horror. I mean, look how scary this is. <laughs> hey, hey, are you going to sing? Yeah, yeah, but it's not a song. It's my life. It's my life. It's my life. What? And then you feel sorry for them because they're obviously in a music studio, but you could tell they had no budget for instruments. So in every shot, you see my main Sri Lankan part-time milkman look like pretending to play instruments, which they obviously can't afford. And like, who made this beat? Paulie D. Now, I don't know if this song is targeted to his mum, or his wife, or whoever, but he's obviously suffered some sort of bullying in his past, judging by his depressing, rebellious lyrics. It's my life, whatever I wanna talk. It's my life, wherever I wanna walk. Like, my man's threatening to walk wherever he wants. Like, that's a mad threat, you know?
you know. I'm walking there. And you can't stop me. And when I finish, I'm walking there. And maybe there. And may maybe I walk backwards too. And no one can stop me. Like who was gonna stop you from walking? Huh? And I'm not gonna lie, this Kuti, like, Papa pisses me off. You know those girls who don't have anything positive to say, but they still wanna be part of the conversation, so just bite and just chat their shit. Like, listen to what she says. If you look like that, do you know what people think about you? And why is she attempting to do American accent? Freshy, stop doing that. I know you've got Nickelodeon on your fake box, but stop it. And why has my man got underpants on his head? Like, genuinely, like, why? Like, does it help you create crazy fantastic beats like this? Because if that's what you think, I don't think those underpants are working, fam. And I hope they're yours. I hope those underpants don't belong to the guy next to you. Because now it me even weirder but for some weird reason I think there's more possibility of that being true and when I heard these lyrics I knew straight away that his friends are fully real friend of mine say I'm a best friend of and I genuinely don't get this line I'm a friend of what is he implying like do you really want to admit that like on a song and as this satanic Russian toilet beat continues you slowly start to realize that no one really likes this guy his teacher don't like him his neighbor don't like him his mum don't like him, his father don't even like him like, genuinely his insta post must get no likes and then Missy Elliott in Shirokami's returns and his lyrics are getting so shit that even the girl that he's collabing with is giving that face like what are you on fam? Have you been smoking weed with that hair? and then I realised that this guy is a lot of things you know Welcome me sponsored Lurky is pissing me off. Please can someone call my internet provider and cancel everything. I don't really want any more of this. And then I realized that this Pablo Escobar Mucha of Select employed the same songwriter as Star here as he ran out of things to say and started singing. La, 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 la. I say kids don't do drugs and I love how this guy is clapping at the end not because he smashed it but because the song finally finished but if I've missed any music videos then please make sure you comment below but anyway remember guys on the 6th of December no actually September I will announce the date that Bad Bad 9 is coming out so it's gonna be badness and I've got a little surprise so make sure you check that out on the 6th of September come to the YouTube channel obviously just subscribe and you'll get the notification straight away and now I'm gonna see you guys every Friday so stay tuned make sure you follow me on all socials at Humza Production have a great Eid and I'll see you soon